Hello, and thanks for joining us today. Before we get started with today's live content, we want to talk about some basic terminology that is important to know when working with people who have diverse sexual orientations or diverse gender identities. There are four elements of identity that you will need to know. Sex assigned at birth, gender identity, gender expression, and sexual orientation. First is sex assigned at birth, which is based on physical anatomy. This is often assigned before or immediately after birth by looking at the baby's anatomy. The most typical sex assigned at birth is either female or male, but there are other variations of sex worth noting. Variation in sex characteristics can be variations among hormones, chromosomes, or anatomy. The term intersex is used as an umbrella term for those born with varying sex characteristics. About one in every 100 people are born intersex. That's more common than most people think. So contrary to popular belief, there are in fact more sexes than just male or female. The next important term to know is gender identity. Gender identity is a person's internal sense of their own gender. All people have a gender identity, though not many people think about it. Gender identity is how you feel about your gender and your role in your culture's gendered practices. Gendered practices vary from culture to culture, so there isn't only one way to define being a girl, woman, boy, man, or any other gender. Gender identity forms very early in childhood, with some signs pointing to as early as two years old. When young children start to say, I'm a boy or I am a girl, they are describing how they feel about their own gender. I would like to explain a few key terms related to gender identity. The word cisgender describes a person whose gender identity and sex assigned at birth match. The word transgender describes a person whose gender identity differs from their sex assigned at birth. The term transgender is also an umbrella term for gender identities like gender fluid, non-binary, and agender. For more information on these terms, click the glossary link in the description. The next term you will want to know is gender expression. Gender expression describes how people express their gender externally. This could be through clothing, hobbies, mannerisms, or hairstyles. Gender expression and the expectations around expression have changed over time, and they may change day to day depending on how a person feels. Sometimes, one might dress more masculine one day and then decide to dress more feminine the next day. It's important to note that gender expression does not tell us how someone identifies their gender, and it is best not to assume who someone is based on their style of clothing. It's best to ask the person how they identify. Lastly, we will talk about sexual orientation. Sexual orientation describes feelings of attraction. Think back to when you had your last crush. What were the feelings you had? Maybe you felt excited when you saw the person you liked. Maybe you got nervous or shy around them. Or maybe your heart raced and you had attraction. Think back to when you had your last crush. What were the feelings you had? Maybe butterflies. These are all feelings of attraction. Attraction can mean different things to different people, but one thing to note is that these feelings are not a choice or something someone can control. We cannot tell our heart to slow down or our butterflies to go away. Sexual orientation can start to form around early childhood. Think back to when you had your very first crush. This is when your sexual orientation started to develop. Common terms you hear associated with sexual orientation are lesbian, gay, bisexual, pansexual, queer, and straight. Lesbian describes a girl or woman who is primarily attracted to other girls or women. Gay describes boys or men who are primarily attracted to other boys or men. But this term is also used by anyone who is attracted to the same gender. Bisexual refers to people who are attracted to their own gender as well as other genders. Pansexual refers to someone who is attracted to people regardless of gender. 
Asexual is used to describe someone who may not feel sexual attraction to any gender. This does not mean that the person doesn't want to be in relationships. It just means that the element of sexual attraction is absent. You might have also heard the term queer. Queer is used as an umbrella term that can only be defined by the individual using it. The term continues to be hurtful to some people, especially older populations who experience this term as a slur. However, some people use this term as a source of pride and a symbol of determination. It's always best to use the term only if the person self-identifies as queer and if the person gives you permission to refer to them in that way. Lastly, some people identify as straight, which means they are attracted to people of the opposite gender. Now that you have some basic terminology under your belt, you're ready to jump into more specific content to get to know this population's experiences better and to gain skills on how to serve them best.